Hello everybody, it's Jay Brayton here again with another episode of Dominions 4, this is turn 12. Let's see what's going on. So we didn't get attacked by uh, by Sauromatia, which is quite interesting. I uh, had a battle going Llama, that's fine. Um, Bonelands, good, that's uh, some extra cash. Uh, some lost cash there, but it's only a forest. And some extra Dominion capital, which I think was already at full. Um, right. So we've got the Zon and Kindle. Uh, Sauromatia is just uh, gone. That's um, that's a turnout for the books. That's not what I was anticipating. Uh, the Zon and Kinder are quite a lot like the um, Black Fists, uh, which I think we have hired. Yeah, sorry, Black Fists right there. Um, basically the same unit, same kind of deal going on with them. Um, Kind of tempting to take this, but because the uh, Sauromatian is anything that can fly, or at least he, he says crossing his fingers massively, um, they don't usually have anything that can fly. Um, so if we take this, um, given there's nothing in these provinces, uh, we can double back and take this, and then you know what? At the end of the day, there's an extra province. Uh, you never know what we will find once we start doing some more searching. These Nifl Giants I am not liking the look of. Um, let's see what we can do to ruin their day. Um, that looks like quite a lot of Amazons and Pegasus Riders. Um, the thing about Amazons, uh, Crystal Amazons specifically, is that uh, Um, is that the uh, the bow troops aren't terribly dangerous, um, but the centaurs have uh, occasionally quite nasty to deal with um, light lance attack, um, which on its first strike is going to do quite a lot of damage, uh, and they have pretty good morale because they're blessed. So um, I don't know. I may just go in for this. Uh, this province here. Um, hmm. Well, they never replied back, so I'm guessing that they might be on a uh, <coughs> sorry, on a bit of a tear coming towards me. Um, so we shall see what goes on. Right. Um, let's get these guys moving still. So the um, the horned serpents uh, got two jobs. One is to tank um, poison damage, and the other is to tank lance hits. <laughs> and uh, beyond that, there's not really much um, that I need them for. But uh, they're not terribly expensive in terms of gems, so um, it's better than getting, you know, Yuana trapped in a poison cloud. Um, obviously, the place where I put them may or may not be uh, exactly where they need to be. And uh, they're undisciplined, so they're just going to attack where it's closest, um, which probably isn't going to be the Hydras unless the Sauromatia player is very, very bad. Um, because if you put your Hydras in front of the units, they will um, <laughs> plow straight through the Poison Cloud, because Hydras are usually uh, about the same pace as, as most stuff, and uh, certainly slower than uh, Oyopata, who are the. Um, Sacred Sauromatia is apparently leaning on. Uh, what are we going to do here? Let's get some of these and let's get a temple up. Um, not quite done with Conjuration. Uh, should be coming pretty soon though. Keep hiring these guys. It's important to uh, keep up mercs where you can. I'm much cheaper than rebuying them, and uh, yeah, that is certainly a concern of ours. I'm just going to ping this province, see what's in it. Um, may well turn out that the uh, Sauromatians um, move into it, which is why I'm not going to send any troops into it uh, just now. Uh, okay, these guys are going here, right on. 
seems reasonable enough. This guy can just patrol. How much PD is here? Okay, so it's somewhat expensive to buy this much PD, but uh, it's cheaper than uh, actually buying um, this many nightmares plus the Amazons. And um, although they're not going to have a uh, particularly great time against Niffle Giants, um, the uh, Giants aren't really going to be able to fight into uh, what should turn out to be heat two or three by the time they get there, uh, once tempo goes up and the seasons start to change again. Um, just because the uh, their protection is going to be significantly lower than it might otherwise be uh, if it was if it was winter when they attacked. So if they did mean to attack me, they put it off too late, basically. Uh, more for them, but there we go. Um, right, so that's conjuration for that. Uh, now these asuras, um, if you can uh, gift a reason or divine name them, uh, they are actually fire mages. Uh, I found that um, using the one inspector and um, that's going to be helpful if we end up in a war with uh, the guys over at Niflheim uh, just because the uh, Nifl giants are very vulnerable to fire they basically won't um, in most circumstances they, they will not uh, stop being on fire once they, they get on fire and that's um, pretty hazardous for a unit that has fire vulnerability so yes uh, I think we're probably going to take this, take this, and then see how we're feeling at that point is going to be my uh, idea about expansion in the bottom. Um, these are a lot of Plains Provinces, which is good. Um, that's all extra income. Uh, probably one of four, maybe here. Uh, tragically got <laughs> a uh, Shaman as a leader, so kind of uh, annoying to get. Uh, recruitment up there, but uh, if we recruit this guy a couple of turns, he'll be ready and uh, we'll be good to go. Right, uh, I think that sh should be more or less the end of the turn. Okay, let's uh, ping this. Uh, actually, why bother, right? Why bother? Um, fire rear. Because we know it's got PD in it, in it because the um, Chimway the scout uh, didn't manage to uh, didn't manage to make his way back. So there we go. Uh, I believe also in conjuration we have a um, special spell that brings our um, dead leaders back. Uh, might actually be a different tree. Thinking about it, but let's have a look. Um, be four or five. Nah, probably not there. Um, return from the divine. There we go. Enchantment five. Basically, if um, any of these guys manage to stay in the uh, Hall of Fame, um, we can bring them back later as uh, one of our divine uh, summons. So something like uh, Gandavara, for example, which is a very high protection unit. It's got or it's got all kinds of good stuff. Um, so that's something to look forward to, perhaps. Uh, although, <laughs> how many Hall of Fame characters are there? Okay, so we've got a, um, a decent amount. We've got 15 rather than 10, I think, uh, which is good. Um, but yeah. This is interesting. Okay, so that is presumably Tiananog's, um uh, profit. Um, <laughs> uh, our guys are just kind of clinging on here. Uh, in fact, it's mainly profits, I think, and uh, mercenaries. So that's going to be theirs. Um, that looks like it was a mercenary because Amory isn't a typical Catician name. Uh, that's definitely a mercenary. Um, Nafa 2 is a mercenary as well. I am an adult. Yeah, profit. Ah, it actually says profit at the bottom, so there we go. Yes, almost entirely uh, profits, or uh, in the case of um, Masayuki, it's probably a demon general, which is the uh, usually the first turn recruitment of Yomi. It's going to be um, 
11 Akaoni and a Demon General uh, using their starting 400 gold. Rin is uh, another just a leader. This guy is a prophet. That's ours. That's our um, guru right there. And bits falling off the prophet as well. So our um, our guru is actually doing quite a lot better than a lot of uh, a lot of people's prophets, which is not a, not a, not a bad showing, I would say. Right. So next time we're gonna have uh, stuff like lesser earth elementals. We're gonna have a Sura, so uh, it should be fun. And the battle for uh, battle for this problems over here may begin in earnest. So thank you very much for watching. Been Jay Britton, and goodbye.